Hey there, this is Tyler Horvath, CEO of Titan Media. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up a G Suite account on your domain. So with G Suite, you can manage all of your email accounts, all of your email space, all that stuff you can do with G Suite. So it is a really great uh, email provider. So if you're just using your regular hosting account, um, you know, or something like that, uh, G Suite is a lot better. It allows you to just use Gmail for your you know domain email so if you want to have like you know your name at whatever your domain is dot com then you can simply set that up through G Suite and manage all of your domains and users right inside of G Suite so in this video I'm going to show you how you can set up G Suite for a domain so first you just go to G Suite dot Google dot com which we're already here so let's just click get started and then now you're going to enter in your, your business name so I am starting this for a new company called the Solo Preneur Institute. And I'm going to say just me. And then you click next. And now you can enter in your information. And then since you already have the domain, you're gonna say yes, I already have a domain. And then now you can enter in that, in that domain. So I'm gonna put in our domain here. And you don't need the HTTPS www dot or anything like that. So then you click next. And click next again. So now you can enter in your username and password. So if you already have an email, so let's say you already have an email like Tyler at solopreneurinstitute.com. Um, you just enter in that here and create a new password and that will be your new account. And once you switch over your, your name servers to uh, Google's, then you'll just be using the email through this account and so um, it won't be through your host anymore. So I'm gonna do Tyler at Solopreneur Institute and then enter in a secure password. And I am not a robot that I know of. Click agree and continue. Okay, so it thinks that this is already someone's email because I have it set up and it's pointing to uh, my current host um, DNS right now. So let's just do admin for now and we'll create our personal one later if you already have it set up. If you're creating a new email account, then you know it'll allow you to do this. But if you already have an email set up, then it'll give you that error. Okay, so now you have to choose a plan. Um, it's free for 14 days, and after that, it's 10 bucks a month, which is super cheap. And if you're a business or um, you know do any emailing, it's it's plenty worth it, um, and that's for your whole business. So, um, click next, and now we need to um, check out. So enter in all of your information, your credit card, all that. Um, obviously, I'm gonna pause it for this part, but uh, make sure you enter in everything, and then click next. Okay, so now your G Suite account has been created with the email that you provided. So continue to set up, and now we can set up all of our users on our account. So um, if you have employees, or maybe you have multiple emails for support, or you know um, jobs, etc., you can just add all of those here. So for example, um, now we can add. Should be able to add this one now. And then let's say we have a support email. And make sure you add all of them because it will create records for each one of them and an account as well. So now click I added all user email addresses currently to uh, make sure that you have everything added already. Click next. So first you're going to need to verify that you own the domain. So uh, there's a few different ways you can do it, um, but this is the easiest way. Just um, copy this meta tag and we're going to import it into the head tag of our homepage. So if you're using WordPress, it's super easy. You can just go to your appearance editor and uh, just add it right in your head tag inside and click update. And that will save it. And now we can go back here and say I added the meta tag to my home page. So now it's going to make you go to your DNS editor. So um, this can be a little complicated depending on what you're using. If you're using cPanel, it's pretty easy, um, but uh, there's a lot of different things that you could be using. Uh, but it's usually 
um, in general, pretty much the same on every host. Uh, but you can look up your specific host and see, you know, how to do it. There's write-ups on pretty much every host on how to add it to Google. So um, first, we're going to delete any MX records that we have. So let's go to cPanel, go to our zone editor. And so we can see here um, our, our current MX records is pointing at the domain, which is this host. So we're going to delete that and make sure there's no other MX records. Okay, so it looks good. And then we can go there and say, I have deleted my records. And now we can add um, these records to our uh, DNS. So um, it can take a while, just do add record. And then you can just simply copy and paste everything. Um, so the destination will be this, the value or the destination, and then it will set a priority. And then the name hoster alias, it can either be an at symbol or it can be your domain name depending on your host. So make sure you check that out. But for this host, uh, which is Liquid Web, uh, it's just the domain name. And then we're gonna change the time to live to um, 600 seconds. So it will change fast and then we can click add record. So now we'll just need to do that with all of these records um, here. So there's five of them, so make sure you add all of these. So I'm gonna go ahead and add all of these. Okay, so we've added all of the records from Google and all the certain priorities and all that stuff. So now we can go back to our uh, setup here and click I created the new MX records and then click that you've saved them as well. So now you can click verify domain and set up email and Google will now look at your DNS server and make sure that all of these uh, match and are correct. So if anything errors out, then that means that you did not enter it in right. Uh, so go back to your DNS and you know kind of look and see what uh, may have happened there. But uh, this worked great for us, so now we can click next. And now we can continue to the admin console. So this is where you will basically manage uh, create, uh, delete any users in G Suite. So any emails that you want to have at your domain.com um, will be a new user. So you can just go to users and if you want to add a new user you can click add a new user and then you can just enter in their details and if you want to automatically generate a password for them you can do that as well and that is basically it. So. Um, you know, you can look at your directory and see all the users. Um, you can manage, you know, apps and security and all sorts of stuff in here. It's a really powerful platform. Um, but the point of this video was to help you get a G Suite set up for your domain. So now you can add um, your Gmail SMTP credentials to either Outlook or you can even just use Gmail to, you know, read your emails from, from these email addresses that you just created. So. I hope this helped you. If you have any questions, please comment below. Be sure to follow my channel for more great uh, videos on how to grow your business online. Thanks, have a great day.